right? Not necessarily machining, but in machining or fabricating woodworking, you may have to do what they call a layout. So a layout, they're laying out the holes or where you're gonna cut something. And in this case, I wanna make these brackets that are uh, gonna have a few holes here. So I could screw um, two pieces of wood together with a couple other holes on this side instead of using um, screws into the wood, we'll sandwich it in between. So first off, we're gonna kind of like, I guess, measure with a ruler in this layout, right? How far? And either using some ink or dye or something in the tray, we use something called dicum, but this, this kind of comes off and that's the whole thing that you can take it off whatever you're dying and then so i'm going to scribe a line or put a little mark here on this thing with a what they call a scriber with this carbide tip tool well then what we're going to do here if i could do this real quick uh and we're going to take something called a square in this case it's a machinist square but it's the same as a carpentry square just a little different mind you what we're doing is to metal not to wood so the tools and everything else are slightly different so here we would kind of like I don't know, put this thing at that distance. Ooh, we can't really do it this way, can we? Okay, so hold on a minute. I, it looks like I needed to put it on the outside and you figure things out as you go in this kind of business. To then use this guy over here to then take the scriber and scribe it somewhere in the middle, right? And then from there, maybe turn it this way, which is kind of dorky the way I'm doing it and see if I can eyeball it to scribe the side this way or remeasure it again. So a lot of little moves. If you're transferring, well, transferring the line, it could help kind of produce more, but you gotta watch it because it could add up error in between as we start to do a repetition of the same, which we wanna come back and measure that one once in between. In between, that's your quality check. Yeah, if they saw it, which is kind of noisy. And you gotta file the edges off get some of the, uh, what they call burrs. It's a sharp edges also that will take your finger out. This is what takes the longest and people hate this, but you can make something look nicer. You kind of make it look ugly. I mean, there's aluminum and there's aluminum. There's really soft stuff that they extrude. You've got your 6061, which is a kind of little bit of this and that, or your harder, stronger 2024. So each one has different qualities and you can kind of feel it when you're working with it.